Hey, aging has long been taboo in Hollywood, but some actresses are going against the grain and celebrating their age and getting those acting roles along the way, too. Yes, and sitting with us on the couch to talk about her latest projects and her views on aging is Hollywood a a a Academy Award nominated actress Virginia Madsen. I apologize. Get I don't a little nervous, nervous darling. I'm <laughs> a nervous now. No, you know what? I'm a huge fan. It's great to have Thank you here. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So now you've been very honest, and you're very honest about yes. your age and how little. How little well, my mother was always very honest and you know she I, I grew up in that kind of atmosphere where she had all the candles on the cake and she never lied about her age and she was the only mom I knew that you know was fully comfortable in her own skin but that's unheard of in Hollywood especially now not anymore yeah I think now you know the rules have changed because we've changed them as women we feel differently about ourselves I think so many actresses that I know are also comfortable about who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a story earlier in the show about sex, uh, 60 is the new 40, and 60 is still sexy. But, but, it, but also, that's to say, like, why isn't it okay to be 60? Why is 60 40? Have to be younger. You know? Well, yeah. but I want to ask you this right. question, yeah. too, before we go on. How much of a double standard is there before men and women? Oh, gosh. Well, you know how what they say, like, we age gracefully. <laughs> And men age like a fine wine. Okay. You yes, know, I, I mean, so I think we do too, you know. So it, there will always be that kind of double standard. And Hollywood is, you know, it's full of youth and beauty. That's, that's what... That's what it's always been and it always will be. That's fine. Uh, let's celebrate, you know, Jennifer Lawrence. I mm -hmm. love her. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. And we'll celebrate women of all ages. That's the thing. And now, you know, there's, there's still plenty of stories to tell about us. You know, on the big screen, though, we're all disappearing at... at at every age. I saw that that was actually um, but just television released. And, exactly, yeah. yeah, that there were less roles for females yes. last year. Yeah. And, and it's so and crazy. And there is where your double standard is. Right. Not, and that has nothing to do with age. But on television and the internet, there they're still telling our stories. Right. Well, actually, let's talk about that because you're a paid spokesperson for a website where it helps aging women with a problem that they're very embarrassed about discussing. Well, I'm always a very open person <laughs> about things. <laughs> and I have no trouble discussing that. You know, like I'm, for instance, I'm perimenopausal, which means it's right ahead of me and mm -hmm. so as an actress I always do my research so I found out like well what's coming my way like what is what are bioidenticals what is hot flashes what are all these things that are going to come and one of the things that happen to women in postmenopause some women um, have a condition called dyspareunia which basically um, because of the changes in the vagina, they experience really painful sex. And a lot of women just stop having sex altogether. And that was horrifying to me. I was like, no, you think that <laughs> no, should not, not to that. go away. Right. And you can imagine if that intimacy was taken away, what that would do to a marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, or if you're dating and right. sex is not on the table. So uh, I teamed up with this company, Shinogi, and I made with them a website called findingthewords.com and where you can go and sort of figure out are you experiencing this how to talk about it to your friends your family and ultimately your doctor well to have the because it's a real treatment yeah. it's not just mm -hmm. going getting some over-the-counter lubes you mm -hmm. know what I mean those mm -hmm. are fun right <laughs> no but this but is a this whole is, different yeah. <laughs> right, exactly but you know, he's like yeah yeah wow. I know what you're talking yeah, but about this is the reason why we don't talk about it it is it, morning you know? television right now <laughs> <laughs> not anymore <laughs> No, but you know what it is? It, 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 again, I get back to this double standard. We're in this oversexed society right. where it's all about youth and anything goes, but then it gets to be a certain age and everything's off the table. So yeah. I, I, I applaud that. And so I'm here to say it's nothing's off the table yeah. and you know but it's learning to talk about it yeah. you know it's finding our words it's you know there's been a lot of commercials for men about different products for men every where, other you know go all the way about back it. to Bob yeah. Dole you yes. know where they sort of learned yeah. how Remember to the talk Bob to Dole their commercial? Oh, Bob Dole oh, today's National you know, Viagra Day by the way is yeah. it really yeah. 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 it is so now it's time for us and you know we all know that women really don't have a problem talking. Yeah. We converse. We're yeah. very verbal creatures. <laughs> but we're not talking about our own health and our own hormonal issues. It's just hormones, ladies. Yeah. It's like it's okay yeah. to talk about that. But it's that. so typical. Women are so worried about everyone else and yes. putting other people first. And what and does that think mean? About yourself. What is like, yeah. what, we take care of everybody else but ourselves. And then we start saying, well, 
what does menopause mean? Does that mean I'm old? Should I not tell anybody right. that I'm having these strange things going on with me? And it's like, it's just hormones. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You can talk about that. You know? So, um, uh, well, I want to talk about you because uh, I, sideways, of course, great. Oh, thank you. Uh, Diana, what what thank role you. do people come up to you and ask about or do they remember you for? Besides sideways, they, I get asked about a movie I did when I was very young called Fire with Fire. And nobody ever remembers the name, but they go, you did this movie when I was in high school and you were floating in a pond with this beautiful dress on, and I'm, it's fire with fire. It was kind of a, you know, I was in a Catholic boarding school with the, you know, with the Little, uniform. Yeah, yeah. The I was very okay, sexy. Now I see where you're going And then there was a bad it. boy, and we fall in love, <laughs> and, we, and then we are, and we're on the lamb, yeah. and we oh. run from the law. Well, now, I just have to, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm very distracted because I see, is this your boyfriend <laughs> over here? Oh, this oh is your gosh. boyfriend? Talk about a hot couple. Uh, Come what on. are you fighting? He's not Mike's, but wow. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Whoa! Oh my gosh! Come and have a seat. Wow! How do you handle all of this woman? It's a lot of woman. It is. Wow! <laughs> and then, what's he's? You're 32 years old. Right. Oh my hey, uh, gosh! Thank you. Wow! wow. How did you be, crazy kids meet? I was gonna say what like. We had mutual friends for years, and then uh, yeah. she was in New York doing a movie. And we started writing letters to each other. And, uh, oh, that's so romantic. Uh, it was. It Who was writes very letters anymore? Well, he yeah. writes beautiful poetry. And wow. oh. so he kind of snuck up on me. And before I knew it, you know. Oh He's got his. A lot of time went by, and then this I was like, oh, sexy "Look at couple. this! Is that your real hair? Look at that heel!" <laughs> yeah, he's got good. Wow. Well, wait, back to he's business. Got good everything. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Okay, before you guys get it on here. Wow. Hey. Good morning, TV. Hey. Wait, really What's quick. The website you go, now. Before you go, you're shooting a pilot in New York right yes. now. Is that correct? Okay. And so, what's it about? When can we expect to see it? Um, well, I can't tell you an awful lot about oh. it, but it's really scary. It's okay. called Babylon Fields. And uh, and Michael Cuesta is directing and producing, who also did Homeland and Dexter. Ooh. And, I mean, it's we have major heavyweights involved Good. in this, and and I and I love to do scary projects, and so it has to do with the undead. Okay, oh, put a couple of 32-year-olds in it, and we're good to go. <laughs> uh, Virginia Madsen, so uh, so nice to chat with you. Website again, real quickly is uh, findingthewords.com. All right, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. You two kids oh, have wow. fun. I'm inspired. <laughs>